Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I have two baggies here, Ziploc bags. Each one has uh, what I think is a dog tick that we've taken off our dog. I have three different products. I'm gonna try to see if they repel the ticks. There's this from Canadian Tire Woods brand, I guess, tick repellent spray. And then there's the Atlantic the Zodiac Flea and Tick Spray. And these two are repellents. This one is, I think, will kill the tick. So how this experiment's gonna work is I have three different bathroom tissues, one with nothing on it as a control. I'm gonna spray, I should say four. One is a control, and then the other three will have each of the other ingredients on them. I'm gonna try the repellents first, see how the ticks react to the repellents. And then I will try the one that's supposed to kill the tick and we will see how they react. So let's get into it. So first of all, I have the bathroom tissue as a control. I'm just gonna set the phone down for a second. I'm gonna put the bathroom tissue with nothing sprayed on it and see how the tick reacts to it. So it looks like so far the tick is in the bathroom tissue, does not seem to, uh, to care. Let's see if I get a better view of it. He went right inside. Or she, I don't know the gender. Probably a probably a female, I don't know, because the other ones were engorged. I don't know that much about, about ticks, but this one immediately crawled right inside. I'm just going to uh, take the bathroom tissue out, kind of move it around and try again, just to make sure there wasn't a coincidence. Ticks back in there. It's crawling over to the bathroom tissue. It's on the bathroom tissue. So I think that's a pretty good control. It looks like the tick actually wants to be on the bathroom tissue. It wants to go in it. So I'm gonna try the Atlantic stuff now. I just sprayed this uh, piece of bathroom tissue with some of the Atlantic spray. I'm gonna put it in and see how the tick reacts. I'll just set the phone down for a sec. The Atlantic spray has a nice smell. It's a lemongrass, it says on it, and I like that it's manufactured in Nova Scotia. That's great. I just open up the... Uh... Okay, so the tick's being stored in a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna try to get the uh, toilet paper near it and see how it reacts. It immediately turns around and goes the other way. Now it's coming back to investigate, turns around and takes off and goes the other way. It's coming back, touch it again, and it turns around and it goes the other way quite quickly for how slow these, these things uh, walk. Sorry for the terrible lighting, I'm not in a studio set up or anything. So at a glance, it looks like this this little guy doesn't want anything to do with the uh, with the the bathroom tissue that I put in there. Here, looks like it's gonna make its way back over again. No, nope. decides to go back. So far on this quick test, it looks like it uh, it's effective. See how it reacts now, it's kind of trapped. And it's trying to stay as far from the toilet paper tissue as possible. Yeah, this tick wants nothing to do with the, the spray, what I can tell. And it looks like it is going to find its way around the tissue as much as possible. It will not go over the tissue. Yeah, this guy doesn't want anything to do with the uh, the Atlantic. So thumbs up for Atlantic for this quick little test. I mean, time to shut that Ziploc bag. You don't need it out of there. Okay, now stop recording for a second. I'm gonna try the uh, the Canadian Tire 
stuff that I bought with DEET mixed in it and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so this is gonna be the, uh, the Canadian Tire Woods Tick Repellent Spray. It also kind of has a nice sweet smell to it. It doesn't have an overwhelming kind of deet smell or anything like that. So it's, it's pleasant. Uh, I'm just going to stick it in the Ziploc bag and we'll see how the tick reacts. Okay. Looks like this tick doesn't want anything to do with the, uh, the wood stuff either. So we saw with the Atlantic stuff, it wanted nothing to do with it. Whereas on the control, the tick kind of wanted to almost get right up inside the, uh, bathroom tissue like it was interested in finding a dark spot to be this tick doesn't want anything to do with it no exit bud yeah this guy does not want anything to do with this stuff and it kind of smells similar to the Atlantic stuff so I'm wondering if they're using some of the same ingredients um, but clearly different behavior than with the control clearly whereas with the uh, the untreated toilet tissue sample, the tick almost immediately wanted to go into the toilet paper almost right away. Um, this guy wants nothing to do with it. They want out of the environment. They... So, and it seems to have a pretty immediate effect. We'll take a look and see what happens here. It looks like it's gonna make its way towards it. Nope, it backed off. Here it comes again. Yeah, this guy wants nothing to do with the uh, bathroom tissue this time. First time, this tick really liked it. It's the same tick that I tried the control with. Bathroom tissue. Now, crawled under it. Doesn't want it. Now, keep in mind, I didn't completely drench this stuff in the tick repellent. So there might be some dry spots on it, but no doubt it's a pretty strong smell in there. So just in case the bags made a difference, I sprayed a circle of the tick repellent and dropped the tick in the middle of the circle. Uh, this is the Atlantic stuff. And right now it looks like it's navigating its way directly across it. There's the tick walking. I'm gonna try spraying in front of it. Let's see what it does. It's walking right through it. Well, let's try the same thing with the uh, the Canadian Tire Woods brand stuff and see how it reacts. It turned around right away, but I did spray the tick with the stuff, so. I'll try again without spraying it directly on the tick. There. This clearly has more than one route that I can take. and is not walking directly through it. I'm gonna try spraying the uh, Atlantic stuff further ahead of it again in its path. Let's see what it does. It's going around it. So I think the first time it was actually kind of, it didn't think it had anywhere it could go. And now it's, it's turning around, so it clearly wants to avoid it. And then it turned around and now it's avoiding the other spray. So it, it, it is clearly affecting the tick. Okay, so the Zodiac stuff, let's just give it a smell here. I just took the top off. It kind of has like a chemical smell. It's not anything overwhelming. I read online that it had a really strong smell. Um, so far, I don't think that it's that bad. I'll spray some on the bathroom tissue and I'll, I'll let you know. Sprayed a little on the bathroom tissue. Yeah, pretty much buried my nose in it. It kind of smells like a 
I don't know, just just a chemical smell. It's not it's not that bad. It doesn't smell nice like the other two, but I'm gonna stick it in the bag with the uh, with the tick and see how it reacts. Okay, so the uh, bathroom tissue is in the Ziploc bag with the tick, the Zodiac uh, spray, the the tick spray. And we'll see how it reacts. So far it's crawling in that direction. It doesn't really seem like it's that concerned with the odor anyway. I'm just gonna force the tick onto the stuff because it's, it's just kind of walking around. There, it's very close to it. Now it's climbing up on it. The treated uh, bathroom tissue doesn't seem to have much of an effect initially. Oh, it's reacting to it for sure. It's kind of flailing. Now it's crawled inside. So far I'd say the Zodiac stuff doesn't really act as a repellent so much as the, uh, the other two. Well, now it's trying to get out of there now that it fell off. So maybe so. I know it's, I said that it smells like a chemical, but I do know that the uh, active ingredient in the stuff comes from a plant. So it is based on natural, a natural product. I don't exactly know all the ingredients in there, but this tick wants to seem to get away from it now. It does seem to be kind of repulsed or repelled by the, the smell, but it, it definitely hasn't killed it. I don't know if it's slowing down now, or if it's just trying to get out of kind of where it's stuck in amongst the uh, bathroom tissue, but. I think it's definitely dying now. It seems to be slowing down and unable to kind of get its way off the, the tissue now. Bye. Okay, it freed itself. We'll see how it reacts. Okay, I'm gonna try out in the open this Zodiac spray and see how the tick reacts. It's already taking a different path. I don't know if it's because it smelled it or because I sprayed it too far away. I'm just gonna do another little spray kind of where it's walking. It doesn't appear to be a big fan of this stuff by smell or whatever either. Now it's gonna touch it. Yeah. I don't know if it's drinking it or whatever, but it seems to stop move. I don't know if it killed it immediately. So it looks like it might actually be dead. I'm gonna try to nudge it. I would have to say, I think it's dead very quickly. So it appears the uh, the Zodiac stuff kills the ticks very quickly. So as far as, you know, being an effective uh, pesticide, it definitely works. And it also seemed to kind of uh, stop the tick from wanting to even go around it. This guy's still kicking after uh, being basically submerged in the Zodiac stuff, so. <laughs> might immobilize them. I don't know if it actually does kill them. So the tick that was uh, basically submerged in the, uh, the Zodiac uh, solution, it, it died within six or seven minutes. The one that had an intermittent kind of exp 
exposure to the uh, just the bathroom tissue with the kind of the same type of spray that you would put on like your dog or your clothes. It did curl up in the ball. I thought it was dead and I dumped it out and now it's moving again. Uh, and that was 18 minutes and it's still alive. Whereas the one that was directly soaked died within six or seven minutes. This one's twitching. But... Okay, so it was about a half an hour and the tick finally died. So I have two dead ticks, one fully submerged that just twitched and it died within six or seven minutes and one that was just uh, crawling and then it's moving too. Um, one that was just crawling along treated uh, bathroom tissue and it just, they slightly move. I don't know if it's just a twitch, but it's been about a half an hour to be completely immobilized. Okay, so it's been maybe half an hour and there hasn't been any movement from either tick. Uh, there was a little twitch out of the first one that died, but I think it was just kind of a, just a twitch or something. Uh, so it looks like if you directly spray a tick with that stuff or it walks in the solution like the first one, it's about six or seven minutes and it, it'll be dead. Um, indirectly, like kind of coating a fabric or cloth of some sort, maybe fur on a pet, it looks like it could take up to a half an hour. And I would even wager to say even longer because we were kind of in a controlled environment and the ticks have kind of been without feeding for at least um, 24 hours, we've had them locked in a Ziploc bag, so who knows. Um, all in all, the uh, the tick spray will kill them. Um, obviously, you still wanna you know check your pet and yourself over to make sure that you find ticks the old fashioned way, but it is kind of a nice safeguard, maybe to spray a blanket that your dog sleeps on. Um, so it does work. So just know that it's not immediate. And uh, hopefully this video was uh, was helpful to you, knowing what you want to do to to avoid uh, getting bit by ticks uh, on your own hikes. So thanks for sticking with me. If this video was a help to you, if you enjoyed it, please uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.